trip to Summit Camp. Who we camp it out in a tent. But you're gonna love it. Right now we're in our bustling summer season. We have 37 people here, and sometimes it gets up to 60 people here in the summer times. So what are you guys doing? We're building a freezer trench. A new freezer trench because the old freezer trench it's about 30 feet down, and it's the weight of the snow is crushing the, the trench. melted in our snow melter and once the snow is melted we carry it around and our friend here we call the pig. I have, we have to transfer 200 gallons of water at one time over to our main facility and transfer another 200 to our green building every single day. It's a lot of work. Enchilada sauce, and I'm going to eat so much food right now. I am so hungry. 
And it's hard to believe that you could come to the polar region, spend 12 hours out there working in the snow, and go home having gained weight because the food's so good. <laughs> food's good. Too good. Gotta gain weight. The food's great. I really want some of the recipes. Yesterday we had to move our freezer trench over to this one right now. The old one was 50 feet down, this one is on surface now, and in about three years, it too will get buried. Buildings every year. One of the problems we have as a mechanic up at the summit is that all the usual advice is if you have a problem, take it to the big way. But uh, there's no big way up on the Greenland ice cap. It's not just about digging or crewing the skiway or helping the scientists. It's about enjoying summer camp as well. So some of us like to ski, we walk, we read, and we also use the rec board. And inside here we have weights, we have exercise mats, we do yoga, and sometimes just hang out and watch movies. Right. I don't come up here to work for it as purely as a mechanic. It's the uh, it's what's going on here. It's really interesting. And being part of that is quite special. It's being here. It's one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. It's different than other places. It's a little slower and you really feel like you're standing on the planet when you're at a place like Summit. You've got the sky above you and the ground below you and the light all around you. It's it's really phenomenal. 